So I'm currently inside Edgar Street with, with Pat Morrow. And um, Pat, I understand you, you first watched Hereford United in 1965. Yes. Do, do you remember your first game? Um, it was against Oxford, I think, United. Um, my friend and I were walking by on a very misty night and we heard all the noise inside. We were walking down X Street, heard all the noise inside and uh, decided to come in and that, that was it. And a, another friend started coming with me and that's when Frank Miles recruited us for fundraising activities or cheerleaders on special days. So. You've, got, you've got some press cuttings here and some, some, uh, some newspaper cuttings. Um, you, you went to, to Bedford for, yes, for, for a match. Yes, FA Cup. And, and there was a story about snowballs as well that, that you mentioned? Yeah, the pitch was covered in snow and um, we were walking around the pitch as we did at most matches and um, there were, I think it was, the gate was, I can't remember now, but 14,000 odd and everybody was throwing snowballs at us. So the police had to ask us to move off the pitch in case the away supporters put stones in the snowballs and threw them at us. So. We live dangerously. <laughs> so, so some of the pictures here, there's a picture of John Charles, yes. um, who is probably one of the, the most legendary people in football. What, what was he like to, to watch? To watch, he was amazing. Um, he was just um, so agile. To watch him score goals with his head, with his feet, was just, just absolutely amazing. Um, he was also a very nice person, very, very kind. Quite often gave my friend and I a lift home. Um, that's the sort of person he was. He was just down to earth and really nice. So John Charles went on to be Hereford manager and then Colin Addison took over. Um, that's right. Newcastle, 1972. What, yes. what, what are your memories of the game at Edgar Street? Oh, it was just amazing. I was sat on a beer crate just out here, actually. And um, it, it, it was the funniest part was uh, Malcolm McDonald missing his goal. That was everybody just fell about laughing because he'd said he was going to score ten, I think it was, but uh, he didn't manage that. He denies ever saying that, but he did say it. So, and the goal, um, Ronnie Radford's goal, was just tremendous, and of course Ricky's. So, you know. It, it, it fills me up to even think about it now. It was such a good day. It was very touching and just lovely memories. So moving forward to where we are now, uh, we're two weeks away from the FC United game. Um, how excited are you that, that football has returned oh, to Baker Street? absolutely. Over the moon. Um, I, I was a boycotter and um, I'm, I'm just so glad everything's coming back to normal and I have to give praise to all the volunteers for all the hard work that they've done. It's been quite phenomenal the way they've just rallied round and done everything. It's really good. And I think everything will be back to normal quite soon, except in the lower league, of course. But I'm also a Westfield supporter, so uh, it's going to be quite exciting for me this season.